this is what I thought too before I entered the industry because this is what I saw on uh, DVD extras, right? Uh, but the truth is a little bit murkier than that. You know, normally when you're doing a full storyboard of a movie, that's mostly reserved for uh, studio films where they have a budget for that type of thing. They have a little bit longer uh, prep pre-production period. But there are lots of problems in independent film. Independent film, the budgets are falling, uh, mostly because uh, the value of foreign has fallen. Uh, and, uh, you know, COVID's messed with that a little bit, but, you know, it's just, it's just not as easy to finance an independent film as it used to be. And one of the ways that producers deal with this is they try to crunch that uh, prep pre-production time down as much as they can. Um, I've seen as little as a week to five days. I mean, just literally nothing. Uh, and at that point, like everybody is just coming in and maybe you have time to prep the first couple of days of your first shoot week. And then you're just sort of prepping the movie, you know, over the weekend as you go. Right. It's pretty brutal. But I've seen a number of different approaches to this. Anything from the director just winging it on set, uh, looking at it as almost like a form of improv to, you know, full storyboards where they have a storyboard artist on the entire time. And anytime there's a change, the storyboard artist makes a change. Um, but, you know, there's everything in between as well, you know. A director might not necessarily storyboard, you know, a shot reverse shot, like the simplest, you know, <laughs> the simplest way to cut a, a scene together in film. But uh, they might, you know, bring all the departments together to, you know, do a very detailed previs with an app on their iPad or something. They have a lot of great previs apps on the iPad now. Uh, they might previs like a car crash or an action sequence or the ending of the movie or something that involves VFX and is particularly difficult. You know, they might only, you know, do like a previs of the most complicated sequences and then the simpler stuff they're just going to figure out on set. But make no mistake, it is difficult out here in independent film land and something that I, as somebody who works in film finance, uh, see a lot, you know, when producers bring their packages to me is people are just trying to make their movie for too much money. They're trying to make it for, you know, a million dollars more than the movie is really worth. And the problem is, is everybody is doing their light prep. So before prep gets expensive, before you bring all the department heads in, you might have, you know, just the director and a storyboard artist. Well, that's fairly cheap. Um, but the problem is, is if they prep a $10 million movie, but you're only able to get cast that stands up a $6 million movie, you've got to crunch that plan down in a very small time frame. And that's very difficult. And, uh, and a lot of times the movie does not make the transition very well. But one thing's for sure, if you don't do your job in prep, you will feel the repercussions on set and in the final product.